Hello, viewers and viewettes, me, Maynu. In my last video, ugh, this is a hair in my mouth. Last week, I showed you guys how to make the Halo 4 Magnum. If you'd like to take a look at that, there'll be a link at the end of this video. But this week, it's all about the battle rifle. My process for creating this gun was basically the same as the other one. Aw, oh, coverage. Ugh, my pig. So this is the second gun I did. And this time around, there was a few things that I did differently. Instead of like with my pistol, where I carved out a lot of the detail, in this gun, I carved out pieces in a separate piece of foam and added them on. I found it a lot easier. I will admit though, there's a few things on this gun I couldn't achieve with foam alone. This round piece in here is actually a cardboard tube. What I did is I took the cardboard tube out of a roll of plastic wrap. In order to do that, I had to get rid of all the plastic wrap which my roommate at the time wasn't too crazy over, but I don't know, I think it was worth it. A few other things I did on this one were I added real screws, as you can see here. And for the barrel, I went to Home Depot and I found some of the gray plastic tubing and I attached two of them together, which was actually harder than you think. I tried glue, I tried epoxy, I tried many different things. What I ended up having to do was melt both ends over a candle and then attach them quickly and wait for it to cool off. So it's like plastic welding. Something that the battle rifle has that the pistol doesn't is a display and a scope. For these, all I did was go into Photoshop and make the image, then print it out. Once the images were printed and cut out, I stuck them in one of these, which is a card protector. This is the actual one I used right here. So all I do is cut it out and then slide it right in there. <laughs> After the foam was all cut out, carved, and glued together, next up was painting. All I did for painting was a full coat of flat black, followed by a second coat to cover up anything I missed, and then the silver on the parts that were silver. After that, I just did this yellow strip, then some wear and tear and battle damage, and I came out with this. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out last week's video where I showed you how to make the Halo 4 pistol. And if you're interested in this kind of technique, check out Andrew Cook's channel, The Frontline Trooper, for more information. He's my inspiration for these. Be sure to come back next week where I'm going to show you an assault rifle that my brother made using a different foam technique. Until then, bye bye for bye.